I'm really excited today to be sharing with you another updo that I think will work really well uh, for those of us that are choosing to keep our hair long as we go through the transition from dyed hair to our natural gray hair. And, you know, it's that in-between growing out stage, you know, what do we do with our hair? And, you know, as we, as we go through this process, we're, we're like, what do, you know, how do we deal with this? You know, we don't want to wear it down because there's a streak line. So my solution to the problem is to come up with updos. And this particular one is from the Mary Tyler Moore Show. And it's from the uh, actress uh, uh, Cloris Leachman. She played Phyllis, the landlady, to Mary's apartment. And she just had the sweetest hairdo and I just love it. So I'm going to work on that today and see what happens. Stay tuned. For those of us that are uh, wanting to keep our hair long as we transition from dyed hair to gray hair, we're looking for options, ideas, solutions on how to deal with this gray transition. And, you know, as you go through the stages, you know, eat, you know, let's face it, the grow out takes time. <laughs> but what do you do in the meantime? Well, my solution is do some darling updos. And for me, I love the retro, you know, the old school, the classic uh, hairdos. And when I was a child, I just loved any of the updos. They just looked so elegant. And, you know, they just made a woman look so feminine. So today, I will be doing my hair up and let's get started. Okay, so for this updo, uh, this is, um, I'm going to grab my brush and my clips and get myself ready here. Now, <laughs> this here is my, my growth so far. This is five months. And, you know, when, when we get to this stage, we just want it to be done. But it goes slow like molasses in January. And we need to come up with solutions to keep ourselves feeling good and looking good. And my solution is, you know, brighten yourself up. Um, you know, for me going through this transition, there's no way I'm gonna wear gray hair without makeup. It just, it, it, you just end up losing um, that definition, you know, your features don't pop, they, you know, kind of fade down. So, you know, there's that stigma that's attached to gray hair that if you've got gray hair, you're an old lady. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you know? Well, true, so true. But why not walk through the process in a way that's going to make you feel good? So my solution is, um, you know, just jazz up the hair. Now, for the updo that I'm doing from the Mary Tyler Moore Show, I think this is just so cute and so fun. Um, I'm going to curl my hair and I'm just using flat iron. Um, I do this, I do this all the time. And so, uh, it's just, it's really, really super simple. Um, now I just take my, my top part of my hair, just clip it and just to get it out of the way. And then I divide it, you know, into two sides. Now, here's my, I'm only going to do three sections and you know women who 
are not used to um, jazzing up their hair, styling it, you know, they want quick and simple. You know, just, you know, make it as, as complicated as possible. Now, with a flat iron, you can uh, just slowly pull your hair through. And if you notice, I'm turning my... Uh, my 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 ringlet is going to go towards the back and just go slow as you get to the end so that you've got a nice crisp curl I'm kind of half blocked in my mirror okay now I'm going to take my next section so I'm only going to do three ringlets here. And now I'm going to make my ringlet uh, curl the other way. So I'm going to I'm going to curl this way. This one I curl that way. So that they're, you know, if you don't alternate your ringlets, they'll fold into each other. Uh, this way, you know, it just sort of makes them a bit scattered. And I always like doing my hair into curls because for me, my hair is fine and it, it's flat, it's straight, you know. For those of you who already have curl, <laughs> lucky you. Uh, and maybe some of you have, you know, really nice body to your hair or thickness. Okay, see? You want the ends to be, you know, like have a nice crisp curl. And so when you're going through doing your doing your curls, just go slower at the end. <laughs> My hair is long so I have to kind of catch it and I don't want to there lose my pieces. Now this is so simple to do and the beautiful thing is, you know, with doing this, it's quick, it's simple, it's easy and very effective. So I'm just going to go a little bit sore. Make sure you just keep your iron, make your, make your end, you know, in the center so that it's not, um, you know, falling to the bottom then you're missing it completely. Now I have I have always and for years, you know, been that girl that just loves to put her hair up and play. Cuz when I was younger, my mother <laughs> she she would cut um, my sister and I, you know, would cut, you know, our hair into a bob. And it was really cute. And bobs look really cute on little girls. And for a busy mom, mom, you know, sometimes moms don't want to deal with children's hair and doing it up. But my sister and I desperately wanted to have long hair. And we had um, cousins whose hair was so long it went just you know way past their butts and it was gorgeous and we wanted long hair so badly and we put up a little fuss one day and we got in trouble <laughs> oh my father let us know who was boss and who got to decide <laughs> and we didn't you know we didn't we didn't dare cross wires so we put up with having our little bobbed hairdos and uh, but I, I would often notice you know women you know back in those days you know some of them were still wearing some of the very stylish updos that you know are that vintage retro you know classic look French rolls and um, you know beehives and I just loved it. I just wanted long hair so I could play and, and you know, um, even even um, the Gibson, if you, if any of you recall the Gibson hairdo, and it's where, you know, you take all the hair up and then you sort of like let it 
loosen and poof it down and then put a little bun. <laughs> um, if you've ever watched Anne of Green Gables, the um, in in that series, um, you'll see you know the women of the day wore the Gibson hairdo, and it was very grown up for you know these young women to be wearing that style. And so uh, my sister and I, our hair did at one point get a little bit long, long enough that we could try the Gibson and we just felt so good. <laughs> we thought that was the best thing ever, having a Gibson hairdo. I think all those styles and the long dresses and, you know, that whole era was just elegant and beautiful. And I'd say I miss it, but I was never there. But wouldn't it be nice to have some of those old ways come back? You know, even the corsets coming back. Can you imagine? So my my top pieces, um, you know, again, just go through slowly, and you really want to get the, those ends, you know, curly and really tight curls, uh, because that's what's, you know. It, it, you want them to stay up high instead of drooping down and I can't quite see in the mirror. There we go. There's a nice little curl. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> okay, let's see. Where are we? And so my gray, as it's growing out, is... Um, isn't that interesting? Now that is five months. So if you think five months and then, you know, another five months, that's how long I've got to grow out. But the nice thing at this stage in the fifth month is that there's enough gray in the roots that, you know, has grown out. Um, you know, it, it kind of creates a bit of a crown on your head. So you can pull it back and it's starting to show up what's what it's going to look like. And for me, I'm trying to see. And for me, my gray is all mostly in the front. And uh, so I am more salt and pepper in the back of my back here which is great because you know then it's going to make my transition a little bit easier smoother now you don't want to stay too long at the roots just so that you don't have it really tight at the roots um, you want it tighter on the ends so that when you when you go to put your hair up, it's just, you know, so that it's loose through here. Okay, so now I have my little, my little ringlet. Okay. <laughs> this is, you know, just trying to imagine what it would look like all gray. And it's actually relieving. You know, um, I definitely wouldn't wear gray without makeup because I do look washed out. That's just the way it is. And many women do because gray is very, um, you know, it, it just, it's not a, a color that builds color on you. So what I'm going to do is very simple. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is just basically uh, get my pick. Where'd that go? There it is. Uh, is, you know, just try to get this smooth. Um, I've got some height here. And I could back comb that, but I'm not going to because I think I've got enough length in my bangs that it'll, it'll hold. And then I can use hairspray. Now, I'm basically pulling it all up 
into a ponytail. And if you take a look, uh, you'll see you'll see what my gray looks like um, here. You know, it it looks very light, and then you know, so. If I were to just wear it up in a ponytail, I could get away with that and I think it would be okay. Uh, but for the purpose of this demonstration, now I'm going to do a twist. Almost like a French roll, but um, just a twist. and. I'm going to use my little bobby pins and secure it. And I've got black bobby pins that I'm using. And, you know, it goes fine with my brown hair. But once my hair turns gray, there's actual um, silver bobby pins that you can get so that you don't see the dark bobby pins. And there's certain types of bobby pins that work best. Now these ones here, I don't know if you can quite see it, I'll just put it up to my forehead. Um, the, the top part is tighter together where if you buy drugstore bobby pins they're, you know, they're more pronged out like that. So when you go to put it in your hair, it's kind of catching everything. You want to see if you can go, I, I go to Beauty Sally and, or, you know, if you can go to the hairdressers and see if they have bobby pins for you. Uh, but you want them so that they're, they're tighter. So I'm just, you know, putting that in so that it's, it's secure. And now I'm just going to let this basically waterfall and now this is where back combing, you know, works out really well. And I'm just going to pull this here. Um, so if it's too flat on one side, just give a little gentle tug and pull it through. Just do a very gentle, just to kind of separate my my curls just a bit and just fluff them up basically. Just to give them body. Um, but on on the show, Cloris Leachman, she had, you know, the curls and she probably had a hairpiece. Um, which they did quite a lot back in those days and still today we do the same uh, but uh, yeah it'd be a little bit funny to try and find the right hair piece although I could still use brown uh, so just to make it you know fluff up a bit and It'll spread those curls out a bit. Now, I want a little bit more body right through here, so I am going to, you know, do a little back combing. And when you're doing your back combing, you really need one of these tighter combs. You know, my pick is great for doing the bigger curls. And what you want to do when you're back combing is is back comb down as close to the root as you can because that's what's going to enable it to have a little bit of lift. And then hairspray works wonders. Now it'd be really helpful if I had my three-way mirror here but I don't. I'm just kind of going through and guessing and I'll have to kind of pick through that. Okay. Okay, so I just went um, to my three-way mirror and just, I had to see what I was doing because that helps. And I just want to make sure everything was set up properly here. And I grabbed my hairspray 
And now, on the Mary Tyler Moore show, no doubt that uh, Cloris Leachman's hair was done with lots of hairspray. <laughs> and that's what we need, is lots of hairspray to just hold that body in there. Now, what was done with her hair was that there is these cute little pieces that were just pulled out at the temple and when you when you go to take out the pieces um, glide through with your with your um, tail of your comb and just pull out you know a little section so that it's thick enough and you know because if you pull it straight out you're, you're gonna mess with your with what you've worked on and you know just pull out what you need and then pull out more if you need more and now I might just take the curling iron and just kind of fix it at the root because it's not quite flipping the way I want it to although isn't that cute uh, now I do need a little bit more on the side and now if you're like me you're gonna have more like wispies around you know the edge um, around you know the face you know and you're gonna you're turning the curls inward not that way so basically, you know, the curls are coming from the temple area. And, you know, you just want it to just, you know, fall very naturally. You don't want, like, really super distinct. And what's really kind of cute about this is that you, there's still color in these little wispies. And which makes it blend the back and the front kind of nicely um, so it sort of pulls your color a bit now this is very loose right here so I'm gonna end up I know I know I'm going to glue that down so right now I'm just pulling the wispies out um, so I have just you know the right amount of thickness to my little what's going to be my little wispy ringlets in the front and I kind of want to make them even on both sides so you know just take a few strands at a time and then just kind of feel them out you know they're not going to be perfect you don't want them to be perfect you just you know you want it balanced but the idea of the little curls is is that they're very you know natural looking right okay so I don't want to put do it very gently very quickly oh yeah okay you're turning in this way so don't bring them out that way because they're curling in towards your face and just sort of you know Get a feel for how much curl and tightness you want on yours. But you, you can kind of see it doesn't take much to throw, you know, that curl in there. That one is just not doing what I want it to do. And if it's gone too curly on you, then you can just hold it as it, as it cools. And... Isn't that cute? Little ringlets. Yeah, the ones at the temples are going to be a little bit fussier there. Uh, let's see. I think I want that one. It's still not quite. Just want it. There, it's getting better. This one here kind of went baboom. <laughs> yeah. It's just, you know, trying to play with them so that they work just right. I don't want them super, super curly. Just, that's a little bit too curly. Just 
kind of settle that down better. Okay. There. Let's see. Am I done? Am I going to be done with that? Do I like that? It's a little bit too curly, I think, still. I don't know. It's okay, but I don't know. I'm not like a super curly person. Just curly wisp, you know. So it's, you know, trying to get trying to get it so it's got a little bit of this shape going on here. And I like the way this one sort of, you know, loops down. This one is more in a, you know, solid ringlet, which I don't want. <laughs> I'm ruining it. Okay, let's try this again. I just, maybe if I go this way. It's funny, you get one side that works. <laughs> no, I... And it just can boomerang that one. And then you get the other side that, you know, that just wants to do its own thing. This one just wants to curl that way. So maybe I'm just going to leave it alone and just let it have its fun. I don't know. It needs a little bit more on the end. Better. Okay. Well, for goodness sakes. Okay, so now I'm just going to try to get that secured and Let's see how, I'm just going to check this in my three-way mirror and see what needs to be nipped a little bit. Okay, so I checked to just see how my little um, hair hairdo was doing. I checked in the three-way mirror, gave it a few extra sprays, and uh, I also added um, a little clip in the back, and it's just one of those little pinch clips and it has sort of a retro look to it, a little bling bling and uh, so I'll show you what it all looks like now. This is my side, you can see how my, the nice thing is is that the gray has you know grown out enough and it looks blended with this hairstyle. And there's my little, my little bling clip. You could just, you know, add whatever clip you want to whatever outfit you're wearing. And yeah, so it's just, you know, little ringlets on the side. And if you want to do some in the back, pull some wispies. That would be really cute too. Now, the next part is adding some earrings. Okay, now I've picked out a couple of earrings um, that I think will work well with the outfit that I'm wearing today. Uh, you know, this is like my little gypsy top. I don't know what to call it, but, um, and then I have my black plazo pants, which I just love. And, you know, it's sort of, it's retro, and it's, uh, I love the gypsy look. Okay, now if I wanted to just, let me just grab these. If I wanted to just, you know, keep it very casual looking, even though my hair looks like, you know, an updo that I'm going out, this is a style to just wear anytime. It's really very simple to do. Um, so I might wear my, you know, for just more of a casual day, I'm not doing anything spectacular, uh, my little white gold um, hoops. And, you know, I think that would look kind of cute, very simple. And, you know, back in the 70s, uh, hoop earrings were such a big thing. 
and I love them. And of course, you know, when I was younger, I didn't have pierced ears, and I would have loved to have had hoops. Uh, and then they would have like the dangly, um, you know, the dangly earrings with, with the hoops, you know, dangling um, down below. And I thought they were just beautiful, you know, and they would jingle. And so, and some of them would be like an acrylic plastic, um, you know, different colors. And so that was always very stylish. Uh, now, another earrings that I think would look really cute are these ones. These have a little gold trim in them with the acrylic black. And I think these would be, um, these would create like a nice dressy look if I was going out. Um, so those are an option. And then these ones, you know, I'm a bling bling girl, love bling bling. And it reminds me of sequence for some reason, uh, because it's very glittery. Now these are little, little clip-ons and I love these, these make me think of a gypsy, you know, these kind of earrings. And I love these. These are so cute. And so again, if I was, you know, heading out, I would, you know, wear these and, you know, maybe some, some, you know, uh, silver watch or bracelet or something like that. And these here remind me of when I was in majorettes. I was a baton twirler and I became a coach. And uh, back in the 70s uh, in Eastern Canada, I would be in the parades with all the girls in the group. And, you know, the crowd just loved the majorettes in the parades. If you ever, you know, watched a parade with majorettes, it's just, it's bling, it's so attractive to watch, you know, watching the spinning baton. And we had our costumes um, were very glittery, very pretty. And we had these armbands um, that were elastic and they were sequins, and so we would put them on our forearms. So when we're moving our arms and we're all in unison, it was absolutely gorgeous. It was spectacular. It was eye-catching. Eye, eye and, you know, the crowd just loved it. And our group ended up winning first prize out of the whole parade often because we were so such a, a showstopper. Um, so these earrings... <laughs> They remind me of sequins, and I do love sequins. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was, you know, back in the day, you know, when the entertainers would wear, you know, the glamorous dresses and, you know, the sequins and all the bling, and it was so much fun. It was just so beautiful to see performers on stage just, you know, really done up. So if I was going out, this is what I would wear. Now, for my next earrings which I'm going to wear today. These are really cute. I love them. They're danglies as well and they're um, I really like them because they go with so many outfits. I love these earrings and they're jingly. They're dangly. So there we go. Okay, so let's take a look and see what the whole outfit put together looks like. Okay, so this is my outfit that I chose today. My little earrings and my little updo. And you can see from the side and my bling hair piece or hair accessory, I should say. It's just a really nice, comfy, casual outfit. It has a retro look to it. Back in the 70s, they often wore um, kind of hippie-ish, you know, very baggy, uh, gypsy-like, you know, tops and um, pants and maxi dresses, that sort of thing. And so this is, you know, it, it does um, have a bit of a retro 1970s look to it. Now, if I were to 
dress it up with my shoes. Let's see. I have a couple of choices. And I have my, these are my Stuart Wiseman. I absolutely love these shoes. They're super, super comfortable. And there we go. So really cute, nicely put together, uh, very simple, not over accessorized. Now let's see what my next shoes, if I was going out in the evening, I would wear um, these other spikes and I love these ones uh, because they're black and white and they're actually very comfortable. I, I love my high heel shoes. <laughs> I just do. And so, yeah, it just, you know, the black and white works. And there we go. What do you think? Okay, now, if I wanted to go a little bit more casual, and I was just going to wear, um, like, my, my white gold hoops, just the simple little hoops, then I could just put on my little silver sandals and just keep it very casual and this is casual too with you know with these earrings and you know these simple little shoes and so there's a couple of different looks well i hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe like and leave a comment i'd love to hear from you and if you're going through your gray transition Keep holding on, it'll get better, and try some updos. Try uh, a few different ideas on what you can do with your hair. If you prefer short hair, lucky you, because uh, you might consider cutting your hair short and cutting off all the dye once it's long enough, you know, at a length that you like. So, uh, you know, for those of us that prefer the long hair, we're going to hold on for those months and months and months and in the meantime I hope that I can bring some videos to you and encourage you and put a smile on your face give you some ideas on you know looking good to feel good and you know it's important you're important and you know we we all have those blah days you know and especially during a transition with hair coloring gray it can start to make you feel old and you know dumpy and you know on days like that cherish yourself treat yourself pamper yourself you know have a calgon moment <laughs> and you know just be a little girl go and play go and have some fun and you know go down to the dollar store you know go down to the drug store or to you know the the beauty store and look for some you know cute little hair pieces that you could stick in your hair clip in your hair um, you know summer's just around the corner and you know this is a time that you can really have fun with your hair being put up and with you know different colors that you want to try with your transition. Now today I went with black and white and my wardrobe is becoming a challenge and when you're in that transition the wardrobe is also going through that transition with you because you're discovering with gray hair some of the clothes some of the uh, colors that you picked out for your dyed hair is not quite working with your new found gra gray hair. So just be patient with yourself and don't rush out too quickly. Um, for me, I'm just going to, you know, let the gray go a little bit further. I do have some pieces that I can still work with and, you know, just again it just goes back to making yourself feel good uh, and that's you know with a nice little updo and you know doing your makeup putting some lipstick on and yeah 
do what's necessary so that you know you have a smile on your face that's important so be sure to subscribe hit that little ring bell so that you get noticed of my next videos that are coming up I'm Renee the Renaissance woman and I do a variety of different types of videos and you know it's just the way my world works and I love it thanks for dropping in see you next time bye for now Oh